Hey everyone, it's Mr. Rick. Thank you so much for tuning into Kids Church this week. I hope you're all doing well at home. This social isolation has sure been a challenge, hasn't it? In our home, we've had lots of activity to keep us busy. We've watched movies, played video games, played table games at the dinner table. We also like to read together and go for walks in the mostly empty park. Occasionally we have Zoom chats with Grandma and Grandpa. They don't always seem to know where they should be looking. Of course, our girls have homework now, and Heather and I have work to do too. It seems we're as busy now as ever. We're doing our best to feel like normal. But it's not really normal, is it? This has been a really challenging time for many people. I'm sure many of you are missing your friends. People have been laid off from work. Some are sick and can't get in to see a doctor. Others are hungry or don't have a safe place to stay. In difficult times, it can be hard to know where to put your trust. I want to share a parable with you that Jesus told about the wise and foolish builders. Maybe you know it. Jesus said that if we listen to his words and do them, we're like a wise builder who built his house on the rock. The rains came, and the water rose, and his little house stayed put, because it was built on the rock. But if we don't listen to his words and do them, we're like the foolish builder who built his house on the sand. When the rains came, and the water rose, the house was destroyed. All that hard work for nothing. You know, kids, the houses in the story are like our lives. We all have to build our lives on some foundation, and there are lots of things we can choose to put our trust in. Some people trust in money. Others trust in their clever minds, and I know some of you are pretty sharp. Still others depend on their good looks, and naturally many of us really depend on our families. But God wants us to trust Him. He sent Jesus to die for us. And Jesus, before he went back to heaven, left this promise with his disciples. He said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. See, we don't always know how things will turn out. We sometimes experience real challenges. But Jesus tells us that if we build our house our lives on him, that he will be with us, to lead us, and give us his peace, which means we don't have to worry. He knows what we need. So will you build your life on sand and stuff, or will you build your life on the rock? No, not that rock, Jesus, who loves you. Now here's a little activity you might try at home to remind you of our lesson. I have this rock I found at the beach a few years ago, but you might find one in your yard or in the park if you go for a walk. I've painted on it, Jesus is my rock. Mine's heart-shaped, but that doesn't matter, so long as it's a solid rock to remind us that Jesus is our firm foundation. Well, that's all the time we have today. God bless you.